What's up folks? This is A from A Tech Reviews and today I've got something very special for you. I just picked this fucking tape off this new flagship from Duno. It's called the Duno Glacier. It costs 1400 bucks. That's right. $1,400. Uh, it's new. It's really exciting to unbox this. I'm trying to keep this video short. I will not keep it long like the other videos. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So this is a new um, 22 years of excellence and innovation. This is a new flagship from Duno. And what this is, is like this is a nine driver IM. This is like an odd number, literally and figuratively. Uh, we see six drivers, we see eight drivers, but nine is kind of new. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, quickly, the specs is the brand, of course, Duno, the manufacturer, the model is Glacier. Uh, material is 904L stainless steel. For those of you who don't know, this is like a very high quality stainless steel. Um, this is like used in like Rolex watches, um, if you kind of know about them. Um, it's much better than the 316L, which is much commonly used in many industries. Uh, the benefit here is that it contains higher copper and it is much less likely to corrode and has a high resistance to seawater <clears throat> corrosion and scratches and a lot of other stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's expensive also. Um, apparently here Duno added something called diamond-like coating. I don't know what that is, but they also say that they have hand polished each one uh, for the mirror shine. We'll see the earpieces shortly. Quickly, the weight is 70.5 grams. The frequency response goes very low from five hertz uh, until 40 kilohertz. The impedance is 43 ohms at one kilohertz. Sensitivity is 109 per milliwatt at one kilohertz and 122 dBs at VRMS at one uh, kilohertz. This is a very sensitive, I am not very sensitive. This is a sensitive one. It is easy to drive. So the harmonic distortion is uh, less than 0.5 percent at one uh, kilohertz now driver units you had the 10 millimeter ultra low frequency which is correct it's ultra low frequency a dynamic driver with biocellulose dome and flexible surround For, this is the first time for me to see this i will not claim that i know what biocellulose dome is we all know dynamic drivers have a dome and a diaphragm and the dome should be easy to move and diaphragm excuse me should be easy to move and usually the dome is made out of many substances and materials. So here it says biocellulose. I don't know if it's like the cellulose found in plants. I have no idea, to be honest. Um, and it says the flexible surround. So we'll see about that in a moment. The balanced armature units, one of them is, two of them are for mid-range, two of them for high frequency. The ESD drivers, you have four, and they're not for high frequency, they're for the ultra high frequency. So I'm guessing the balanced armatures are for the mid-range two, and the high frequency ones are like maybe the start of the treble. And then you get into the eye, ultra high, where the ESD takes off. Uh, takes the uh, takes charge here. So cable specifications: um, you have the wire material, eight core, high purity monocrystalline copper with secondary fire refinement. Again, a first time for me. Um, I don't know what fire refinement is. Also, I cannot claim. I know that I've seen some frozen treatment cables, um, but I cannot claim that I know the difference they make. All I know is I like monocrystalline copper. I like the high purity. I usually use 99.999 and more. This is something that makes a difference. Um, also, I like sometimes silver plated cables and silver, pure silver cables. I have also used rhodium plated and I've used gold plated cables. Uh, copper is a favorite of mine also for the sound qualities. And here it says eight core and high purity. Good, thick, not too thick. The length is 1.2. Cable connector. It is a patented catch hold MMCX. I usually am not a fan of MMCX, but here this patent from Duno makes it excellent. And we have the patented Q Plus quick switch modular plug system, which allows you to change to the included 3.5 TRS and 4.4 balance TRRS. Uh, excuse me, TRRRS. Um, so this is like their super stable, excellent, if you've heard of the Duno Hulk and Duno Mini Hulk cable. Now let's quickly 
uh, open this and unbox it quickly because I don't want to keep talking and rambling and make this video long. Duno is a great company. It's an excellent company. I've used their SA6. I've used their Duno Zen. I've used even their $70 Titan S. And it's a brand that's known for quality, for differentiating themselves. They take their time, but they don't release anything that's really, unless it's really perfect in their opinion. They're also a leader, uh, an inventor. Um, they have many patents in for the IMs they use and the drivers and the configuration and for the MMCX for the q -Lock cable connectors. They are one of the first brands to have this interchangeable plug system. Now let's dive right in and open this puppy up. So you can see the box is kind of big. It is really big. It has foam here on one side. Um, let's put this here. You can see designed by Duno. And you can see this also designed by Duno here. Uh, quickly here you have these ear tips. So if you get these here, it says candy ear tips. And you can see here these candy ear tips. I've tried them, I love them. Not my first choice, but these are a safe choice. They are very soft, as you can see, and they provide three sizes, small, medium, large. I usually only uh, use large. This is made of metal. Um, it's very, it's even heavy and sturdy and very good. And you get here, the second thing is you get like a kind of, of a bag or a pouch with cloth, like it kind of feels like jeans with the Duno logo on. You have this excellent leather, which is very durable and waterproof. And you get this very soft uh, stitch material all around. Also the stitching here looks like, it's like a kind of BMW, if you, can, <laughs> uh, if you kind of know that. Uh, this is very, very, very soft, and you can see here it's big. It's it's kind of designed, in my opinion. I, I don't know if this is what they meant or not. I didn't ask them, but I think this is designed for you to put your IMs and protect them from scratches and everything, but to be used as a desktop. Like here, even in the end, it's very... It's like you're putting yourself in a, like, a silk... Not silk, um, like a fur, it has a fur feeling of a pocket. It's like you're putting your hand in your pocket, but it's made out of fur or something uh, very, very, very soft and protective. You can see here even the texture and you can get a, I think you guys know that it's like very soft pants or something like that. It's very good. I think this is designed to be put on the desktop like that. Moving on, uh, let's go on to the accessories here. And the accessories we get are We get a small menu about how to use the cable and whatnot. Uh, and we have like three bags. One bag is for the excellent cable that they provide. And this is, like this is, I have to cut this up, honestly. This is the uh, Duno SS tips. They provide a few sizes, of course. Um, if you know Duno SNS tips, um, they're one of my favorite tips, but they're always green in color. Uh, this one is white or clear, but kind of whitish. They are my favorite and one of my favorite ear tips of all time. This is the cable itself. Uh, this is a cloth material. Uh, here quickly you have the ear hooks. It's MMCX with their pet and like hold uh, name. I forgot to be honest. And here you have this. 4.4, it comes, it comes standard as 4.4 and they include 3.5. If you want to take this off, you look at here at the arrows and you just pull this like this with one finger and you just very slightly don't push it at all or you could damage it and you don't want to do that. So you connect it and so this is how you connect this connector like that. You just push and it slides right in, uh, very flexible made out of cloth, make sure you don't have any coffee or any liquids on it, could leave a stain, very nice. And here you have this pouch bag, which is very soft, uh, padded, it's like a pillow, and it's like airy. You have like two pockets and they're not connected, so they're both separate, each one for each earpiece. Get this bag here, and it has like a lot of accessories, mostly it's like a foam. These are the spin fits. One for five. These are uh, some other ear tips. This is the 3.5 termination. This is 
uh, your certificate with your number. Let's leave that here. And you have like a foam <clears throat> ear tip. You have like an airplane connector and a 6.5, 35 to 3.55 um, adapter. Now, now for the earpieces themselves, you just go here and you just do like that and it kind of like pops right up. Reminds me like a Sennheiser HE50 kind of experience. And this tip is like magnetic here. It latches easily. And you get this like nice microfiber cloth for shining the IMs themselves. They're kind of like thumb, like a finger, fingerprint magnet. So you kind of clean them. And this this is not removable. Don't try to remove it. And these are the beautiful earpieces. You can see one, two. You can see how beautiful they are. They're very shiny. They have each one of them is hand polished. Uh, right and left, you can see the MMCX here on the right has the red um, like sign of like the circle. Uh, I think it's an O-ring or something. And here you can see it's whitish in color. Uh, MMCX is very good. These are kind of small ear tips, but surprisingly for my ear, they fit very well, very well. I don't know how. Um, so let's connect it and to connect it. It's actually surprisingly, I want to show you what they mean with this system. Uh, when you go here, you just very gently done. Done. You notice if I grab this like this, it's hard even to turn it like you can see the left side if I try to do like this like this it stays one benefit of MMCX is you don't have to worry about polarities or inverted polarity or which side is up which side is positive which like pin is negative you don't have to worry about all of that you connect it and it it only needs some work in order to uh, turn around see cable itself is excellent um, never tangles and you get this um, cable like holder and you get this cable splitter which is excellent um it's kind of nice it's very flexible um like i like it to be honest so i will listen to this for some first impression okay let's get into sound impressions i've been listening to these for a few hours now um i didn't compare them with the other ims i will be doing that later if you guys are interested but Let's talk about the first experience. How do they sound? Let's take it quickly. I'm trying to talk quickly to make this video not long. So let's go quickly. First sound signature. This is a neutral sound signature with a sub bass focus and four worn mids and very airy treble. Uh, what I mean quickly is this driver, dynamic driver, it goes really low really low i mean sub bass is full of rumble it is powerful mid bass is thunderous and the bass itself is excellent punchy snappy and really good not for bass heads but i doubt if any bass head would complain like normal sound themselves the male vocals have a bass that is moving in your ears this is how much it is powerful now sound isolation and comfort let's go with that comfort excellent 10 over 10 in my opinion, sound isolation is excellent. Also, I would give it 9.5 over 10. Like, literally, I put this is like I'm putting an harmonic in my ear. I can hear the outside world. Like, people talk to me. If I listen to the lowest kind of music, I can't hear people at all. They're just mouse talking. So, with that said, um, let's talk also about the timbre, which is very important in my opinion. Timbre is natural or an organic sound. Like, you will understand this when you listen. And rare for me to ever say that something headphone or an IM sounds natural. Like I get that more with speakers, uh, even a Stax, it sounds wonderful, but you can't say this is natural, especially the lack of bass in that department. Here you feel this is natural sound. This is the details of the natural sound. This is what I usually hear. Now, with that said, let's go to the mids. Mids are beautiful because one of my favorite things I like is for the mids to be forward and here the mids are forward which is awesome like the mids are forward reminds me of kind of like the hd 650s and hd 600s if you listen to them 
Um, the male vocals are excellent. Like if you listen to Barry White or something like that, um, they have that bass backing them up, which is rare to find in IMs that the bass is clean, not leaning into the mids, but backing up the male vocals in a way that makes the male vocals sound natural, which is desirable. Now, when you move on to the female vocals, the female vocals get the airy presentation and the beautiful treble that is here. Um, the mids, before I move on to the treble, the mids also have something here, which is the notes themselves are very good, are very, very, very good. And take like if you want to hear the drum strums of a, of a guitar, they sound great. With the female vocals and with the treble, let's move on to that. And with the airy presence region and things above that. Here at first, like for the first minute, I thought the treble was like pulled back a bit. But later I discovered that I was wrong because it's not pulled back. It is just so airy and clean and without any sharpness or sibilance or distortion, zero, literally zero. The airiness, the quality of the airiness, uh, how can I describe it? It's like ethereal, that's the way I would describe it. Um, reminds me of the stacks, if you can listen to the stacks, it's like air, like literally the word air. Um, the most realistic cymbal hits and hi-hats and Simple splashes I've ever heard are this I am. I have heard multi thousand dollars I have I am. I've been impressed with some of them. Some of them no. I thought they're not worth it in my opinion. And I'll tell you why I think this is worth it because I'll take save two other things which make this a remarkable. One of it which separates this price from the other lower Juno I am's lower priced ones is the extremely accurate and grand imaging that you get from this IM. And it's multi-layered. What I mean by that is you listen to a sound and you listen to a few vocals singing and you can hear each voice separate from the other. Like if you listen to something like the Beatles or something, or Ozzy Osbourne, and they're singing at the same time, you can pinpoint which voice even when they're singing at the same time you listen to an orchestra and you can hear oh my god the natural cello each one and you can see like if there's a video and i close my eyes and i open again and i see that i heard the guy going from the left moving on to the right and i heard that with my own ears that's a sublime experience Another thing is, which is rare for me to say, usually I never comment on this because I don't hear it at all, is soundstage. To me, all, most IMs are like kind of closed in your head, except a few, like the campfire, um, some others also. But honestly, they are the exception to the rule. They are not the rule. It's kind of hard to get a soundstage in an IM. Most of them are very close. Um, intimate, more of like in your head experience. Now here, now here, it's not only a soundstage, but there is a big space around everything, around the instruments. There is a space, the strums of the guitar, there is a space you can hear the body, the wood, uh, and the echo and the reverbs, the female vocals like Adele, they have like this space, which adds clarity to it at the same time. And this space also you can hear with the drums and it makes the splashes, like the cymbal hits like, very clear and very realistic, like real life. Things that are far are far, things that are near are near, and you can see the difference and you can even hear the contrast. Um, I don't know how to describe it more than that. You combine this airy presentation of the travel and separation with excellent soundstage and super accurate and clear imaging with the zero sharpness, zero sibilance, with the vocal mids that make the female vocal sound airy and make the male vocal sound really manly and bassy with the natural bass found on them. Combine that with the excellent bass, the textured, really textured and really detailed bass, I forgot to say that, the sub bass and mid bass and bass are so textured and detailed and layered. Combine all of that with the dynamic sound signature, neutral sound signature in a way, and also combine that with that organic and realistic timbre 
of this and you kind of get an idea here with a sensitive I am like this you can drive this I drove this with a topping a90 I drove this with a THX 789 I drove this with a PTR 7 and the full snow and I dongle and tangium one dongle and it's literally like the BTR7 can give this to screaming loud levels. This is what I mean. And, uh, how it improves with other amplifiers and better sources, like the D90, is for is that dynamics improve, the realistic timbre improves. This is in my experience the difference, and the space uh, loudness is the same. Bass also improved. I'm being just honest here. Um, that's it for today. Uh, that's, this is what I wanted to say about this. Guys, if you ever go to Can Jam or to any, if you have any local stores, I would highly advise you give these a listen. Uh, usually, I don't like to spend that kind of money, but this is one I am that I never regret having. It is a treasure. It is an investment. This I am will make many headphones I have obsolete. I have the planers, the Odysseys, the Sennheisers. This reminds me of the space of the HD800S, not the soundstage, the space around that instrument. If you use the HD800S to listen to an orchestra, this has the same space when you listen to a cello. It's wonderful. If, if any of you guys like classical music, it's awesome. And one other thing I notice is it is rare for me as an old audiophile, not old, but I mean long time audiophile, to have this experience again when I listen to something and you know, every music song from your library or playlist, you kind of feel, oh my God, this is the first time I'm hearing these sounds in it again. When you kind of stay in the game for so long, it's kind of like you miss that experience. This is how how we started being audiophiles and listening to this stuff. Here I got this experience again and I'm, I don't know, maybe 2024 is the year where we finally let go of sibilance and sharpness and IMs. So this has been excellent. Um, I'm really, I'm really happy for Duno achieving this flagship. If you have the Duno Zen, in my opinion, this is like an upgrade. Yes. And I will be doing another video where I'll be doing a quick comparison between few IMs. Some of them will be at this price or lower. So if you guys have any requests, any questions, any suggestions, anything you want me to compare it to, uh, let me know in the comments. I reply and see every comment. Um, if you want me to use a specific source, if you want to ask about specific volume, uh, I would also like to add, I use this, Moon River 2 AI with it, uh, screaming volume. Like it made it scream really high. Like I don't think you can need anything more than that. Um, so leave it in the comment, I will try it. And if I have the, the source and amplifier, I will let you know I have it. Um, BTR7 made it very loud also, extremely. I don't need any more than that, but the difference was in dynamics. As I said, in sub bass and the space, and I used better sources. And last request is, if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you really find this channel helpful to you, you could subscribe. Uh, like, leave a comment, anything. Um, this, you subscribing and liking the video or something, this helps me um, make the channel better and remain objective so that I'm not influenced by anything. I get my own stuff and I tell you my opinion, guys, as a consumer centric uh, point of view. Um, obviously, this is expensive item, but I'm telling you my honest opinion about it. If this was bad, I would say it's bad. Um, I'm so happy that it has exceeded my expectations. So that's it. Uh, so this was A from ATEC Reviews. So um, until next time, stay positive and see you on the next one. Bye.